the channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. I'm a homeschooling mama to four kiddos. And we just get a lot of things done here in this double Y trailer. <laughs> I've had so many requests, it's not even funny, for a homeschooling slash day in the life slash everything I do in a day video. <laughs> I can't fit everything I do in a day in a video, so I figured I would break it off into subjects and show you guys the homeschooling portion of my life. What, Cammie? school. Oh, Cammie said he likes school. I can break it off into parts and I can show you what I do in a homeschooling day and I can show you what I do in a homemaking day and I can show you what I do in a laundry day, whatever. Just know that all that stuff goes together and I do everything and every bit of that most of the time in one day. Sometimes I slack on my laundry. Y'all know this. Sometimes I slack on my laundry for weeks. Y'all know this, but I haven't been lately. Not only do I have four kiddos, I have five dogs. That blows a lot of people's minds when I say that here lately. We have a lot of new friends on here that cannot believe I have five dogs. It's where I try to corral them off into an area because if I didn't, you guys wouldn't even be able to find me in the frame here. I would just be covered in dogs. So usually the dogs are with my kids. They're outside playing with the kids on a pretty day. They're over here behind a baby gate, over here behind a gate, somewhere. They're in a different area of the house than I am. Otherwise, you guys would be watching the dogs just taste me around the house while I'm off and cleaning and stuff. But I'm not going to add being a dog mom into this video or anything like that. I'm going to add that into another video when it's coming at you. So you get to see my life, what it looks like with five dogs. Four kids and a really lovely husband. <laughs> so let's get the day on thing done. Everybody is knee deep in school right now. They're doing their independent stuff. A lot of their independent stuff has already been done. They took a break. We did a little Bible thing. We try to do something Bible every single day. It may look like it's out of a Bible. It may look like a coloring page, whatever, but it's there. Today we're using these little activity books. They love those. I actually, that was not a pterodactyl. I have a very good pterodactyl impression. Do you? Okay, give it to us. Wait, I, I usually can do like a beast one where I'm like, pterodactyl, do it! I know everybody else is going to do it if I don't tell them to get it out of their systems now. So go ahead, give me your best pterodactyl. <laughs> mom hack if it's inevitable if you see it coming a mile away just get it over with they're finishing up their school i gotta get lunch going i looked at my clock here what time is it can y'all tell why do i do that oh i only do that on camera what time is it i know i never wear a watch hardly ever and i always it never feels like i'm on camera i'm like what time is it <laughs> like i'm fancy and i have a watch i'm gonna get lunch going because it's gonna take a little bit because i got to bull fall that's a thing i got a bull fall on my chicken it's 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 frozen, so I have to boil it to thaw it. I think you can do that. I'm pretty sure I read one time that was FDA approved. I need to, or safe. I need to look that up just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I can do that. I've done it before. We're okay, so I might not. As long as it don't give me worms, I'm good. I'm fine with it. If it's a little bit chewy, I'm fine, as long as I don't get the worms. I'm gonna do something super, super simple. I'm just gonna do some barbecue chicken croissant wraps. All right. Chicken is shredded up real good. I'm gonna add a crap ton of this gold right here. Those are always a hit with the family and they're super easy to make. Like in no time they'll be done and the kids go warm up. And if your chicken breast isn't frozen like mine always is, it'll probably get done even quicker. I always have frozen everything. I got frozen hamburger meat, frozen chicken. That's just how I roll around here because I usually get my meat in bulk where there's so many of us. It's just cheaper that way. So it usually takes mine a little bit longer to cook. But even with it being frozen, it's still a super fast. I'm going to do a quick after school tidy up right now. I got a few kids still doing some work. I've got a kid doing, starting on their chores. While they're doing that, I'm going to do an after school clean up real quick. And then one of you guys asked to see their book collection. So I'm going to show that to you. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers
this what's your type somehow i want to know all about you deep connection lights a spark you already know me when we dance in the dark we're dreamers Shaquille O'Neal would have probably made it on the first round, but you know. Dennis the Menace, but I love her. She's precious to me. But you can tell we got her out of a barn. Also, this stuff smells like dookie. It literally smells like you just walked into a John Deere plant. Ugh. We don't have the time for me to show you every book that they own, but I will show you their favorites or ones they're super, super excited to read. And starting off, we have The Button War by Avi Avi. We have Tennessee Trivia. They love Tennessee Trivia. The Ark, The Read, and The Fire Cloud. The Hardy Boys, we have the whole starter set, the first four. We have Nancy Drew, the starter set, the first four. We love Nancy Drew. Walk Two Moons, which we have yet to read, but the kids are super excited about it. The True Confessions of Charlotte Dole. A Ramona, we love Beverly Cleary over here. And then we have a full box set of the first four books of Little House on the Prairie, Little House in the Big Woods. It comes with Little House in the Big Woods, Little House on the Prairie, On the Banks of Plum Creek, and Farmer Boy. We have the first Shiloh and the second Shiloh. We love Shiloh around here. And Ever After High box set, the girls' favorites, Treasure Island, Robinson Crusoe, and Moby Dick. We just very recently received those, but I love them. They're like a little collection. I love them. We've got Children's Classics with Peter Pan, Wizard of Oz, those good ones. The Ramona Collection, the whole box set. We love these. JJ and Joey, they just soak those up. They're cute. They're really pretty too. They're like pastel colors. We've got First Alice Adventures in Wonderland, and then we've got Through the Looking Glass. We got both of those at Ollie's. A bunch of these little zombie Minecraft books. We had more, but they were wore out we had to get rid of them same here with the pokemon we have several we had more but they got completely wore out these little books we picked up from mckay's we've got some goosebumps not my favorite but the kids love them shane also has memories with goosebumps zombie goldfish one of colton's favorite series we've got four of those he loves that series we have an adorable Narnia set. Shane actually had these when he was younger and we have kept them all these years and now our kids are enjoying the heck out of them. We've got Anne of Green Gables, love those. We've got this little book set with like Around the World and 80 Days, all those. We've got this series, it's like a 39 Clues and it's like 
comes with little clues. It's really cool. Boxcar Children, you can't have a collection without Boxcar Children. We got the first set and the next four. Then we have these horrible Harrys, which I, I hate those. We have a bunch of roll dolls, Charlie and Chocolate Factory being one of their favorites. A Junie B. Jones box set. I love those. These are from Shane's childhood. He loved those. Now the kids love them a whole, whole lot. We also have Heidi, as well as a bunch of other classics like Oliver Twist and stuff. But Heidi is Colton's favorite book of all time. We have several, I think four, of these In the Days of Laura Ingalls Wilder books. And then this is personally my favorite book ever to read with the kids, and we have the second one too. My kids are ginormous readers, and they're lovers of books because I introduced that so early. As soon as they got into kindergarten, they were readers. Before they could even really identify the names of the letters, they were readers. And I did that for a reason because if you can read something, you can learn something. It's harder to learn something when you can't read about it. So I wanted their first and foremost, the foundation of their education to be on reading because I knew if they learned to read and they learned to love to read, it would be easy for them to learn anything. Most of these books have been here long enough to be loved on and they are worn out and some of them we've had to toss because they were so worn out. They were lost pages and everything, but that's because they're used. They're heavily read. Some of these are new though. Some of these are from you guys. A lot of the box sets are from you guys and we've added it to our library and they've become some of my kiddos most favorite books. They had never read The Wizard of Oz before when you guys in a box set of The Wizard of Oz. It had like The Wizard of Oz in it and JJ is obsessed with The Wizard of Oz now. Where the movies are old, they couldn't really get into it but the books they can create it in their mind and they learn to love it like that so they learn to love their own creation that they've created it to be in their mind so these are what we have like on hand they also read a ton on the Libby app we have a library app and it's where you can read ebooks and listen to audiobooks for free and you like check them out and return them like you would a regular library it's just all from your phone so they do a lot of that colton loves libby and then also on the kindle too they don't have a kindle themselves but they've all asked for a kindle because they love mine so a kindle is going to be on the holiday list this year we're not going huge on holidays this year i learned my lesson last year and i say that every year but i genuinely mean it this year i we're going to do a few selected gifts and then what we're gonna do with the rest of the Christmas budget per se, we're gonna go find some angel trees at Walmart and the kiddos are gonna each pick out a couple of angel trees and we're gonna do it that way. That way we share what we've been blessed with. Ain't nothing to it if you're hoarding your blessings. There's nothing to it. There's nothing in it for me. There's nothing in it for them. If you can give it, you gotta give it. So this year, things like Kindles, can't talk loud because I got kiddos over here, but things like that mm -hmm. and then not mindless little stuff that's just going to get lost in the abyss of toys and stuff like that. We have decluttered so much toys. We don't have a whole, whole lot of toys anymore. And it's kind of sad because I feel that season coming where my kiddos aren't going to want toys as much as they, you know, do have before. Colton, thankfully, is a teenager, but he is still very much a kid at heart and he loves his Legos and his action figures and stuff. But I see that season approaching and it's hard to get rid of stuff when I see that season approaching. But I want things that don't clutter their mind, things that don't clutter their space, and things that benefit them. And things like a Kindle, it's going to benefit them. They're going to read, 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 read all the time. They read in the car in the dark on the way home from somewhere. Areas where they're limited to with regular books, they can read there with a Kindle. This book haul that I showed you, though, is not even a fourth of their books. They have a ton of books. But these are our main books that we just read over and over and over again.
the best part of homeschooling is you get the opportunity to talk about things like this during the school day. So Colton found a bird's nest and we were able to like Google it and start talking about it and just like having fun with it. He was enamored by how well they kept it together and how it wasn't falling apart. We were able to stop our day though and talk about and educate on something that they were interested in at that moment, which was the bird nest. We usually pick out subjects every week. This week it's eyes. But I guarantee they're going to choose bird nests and birds in general for next week's subject. It is so dang on pretty out here, so I was like, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to do the Amazon haul I'm going to show y'all. I don't know why that this is so bright. Ugh, let's go down a little bit. What in the world? Um, I can't see if, I can, if you can see because the sun's glaring. So we're just going to do the Amazon haul first. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? I got to the haul. So we're going to do the Amazon haul first. <laughs> oh, I love you, precious angel. I know. You good? You going to go play? Go run with the other puppers. Go run with the other puppers. He has separation anxiety so bad. Like, he has to be, I have to be in, I have to be in sight at all times. Because I'm his security blanket. No spoop. <laughs> I'm going to do the Amazon haul first and then we'll do the Ollie's haul. The reason I'm adding this in this video is I've had this for a little bit, meaning to do a haul, and I've completely forgot about doing a haul. And all this is homeschool and stuff. So I was like, what better video to put it in than this one? <laughs> okay, check this out, okay? This is what 2024 CD players look like now. For one of the kiddos, we use a certain curriculum and it's all audio. So I needed one of these really, really badly. And I didn't want one that was portable, like that had the headphones and stuff, because I want to be able to hear what they're, what it's saying too, so that I can like relay it in a way that they can understand it if they don't understand it like they're saying it, you know? And so I looked up CD players on Amazon and there are a ton just like these. They're... Shane loves this thing. Like, he's had it open and everything. I'm um, checking it out. He puts it back all nicely, though, because he knew I was wanting to do a haul with it. He knew I was wanting to show it in a haul, but let me show you. Hold on. Oh, I opened it the wrong way. Shane takes care of it, and it's so pretty, and then I get a hold of it, and it looks like it's been punted across Tennessee. It's with a cord, right? And it has little toggles and screws that you can mount it to a wall with. That's a big thing that people like doing with these kinds that I like mount onto the wall. And it comes with a remote too. So it is really good quality. I like it a whole lot. And we haven't used it, so I know that it works really good. But check this out. It lights up. You can get it in like white, paint, blue, all sorts of different colors. I got the white just because it's gonna be in the homeschool area. So I didn't want my pink. I didn't want bright pink or bright blue or anything, so I got this one, but it's clear so you can see the CD going, and it, like, lights up, like, blue and everything in there, too. I really like it. I got the wall-mountable CD player, but I don't know what brand it is. I'll have all this stuff linked down below in case y'all want to check it out. I do recommend this, though. We have used it, and I know that it's good, and Shane really likes it a lot. So, I want to get another one for our room, and I think he's going to mount his to the... I think he's going to mount his to the wall beside the bed he was talking about. I just can't get over that, like, CD players are looking futuristic now. Like, I remember just having a little disc, and every time you hit a bump, it would, like, skip the CD. I used to get so mad at that. <laughs> I got this little set of cards, a set of 50 cards, and it's for authentic conversations with kids. It's supposed to help, like, conversation skills, and I need help with conversation skills because I, I'm, I'm always either A, over talking and I don't mean to or I'm under talking because I'm afraid of over talking and the ADHD like I'm afraid I'm gonna cut somebody off and I don't want to look rude by cutting somebody off even though like I, I don't mean to so I thought that this would be really good for the kids and I to both just play with each other it's got up to 50 cards yeah I said 50 cards and then in here it's just like a deck of little paper cards you could probably honestly make these for cheaper than what I bought these for on some construction paper or some um, uh, notebook cards, something like that. These have like expression is in the green and then mindfulness is in the blue and then inquiry is in the yellow and then the pinkish one, peachy one is emotion. 
So the back of an expression one is like, what is one thing new you would like to try? So it also gives you like a look into your child's brain. Cause you know, kids, sometimes it's hard for them to communicate. So it gives you like a look into like how they're feeling and what things that they want and why is it important to be accepting of people's differences. Also brings up topics that you need to talk about but you might not know how to address. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, what is a way you can show someone that you care about them? So it says that it's best for children eight years and older and it's about a 30 minute to 60 minute playtime. So I'm excited to try that with the kiddos. Another cool thing I got, so the kiddos breed a lot, right? But in public school you have something called an AR program that's the accelerated reader program and that's where you get kind of stars for the books you read so you read a book you pass a test you get a star sort of thing and I wanted to implement something like that into our homeschool routine so I found these punch cards and I got ones with little girls on them for the girls and ones with little boys on them for the boys but it's a punch card. You put that little name here. And this says, after 10 punches, I will earn. And they can pick whatever. A trip to Dollywood. Um, a trip to the park. A trip to the lake. When In the summertime. Something like that. And you're going to put it here. And then for every book every book they read. And every test of that book that they pass. A hole gets punched. And once they get 10 books. And they've passed 10 tests. Then they get to do, do whatever they want to do there. If they want a trip to Build-A-Bear. Whatever. I was trying to think of something that I could kind of turn into an AR sort of program to even further encourage them reading. So I thought that that would be a, a good way. Exactly. Then I got these little stickers for tests. So like I said, encouragement, I'm all about encouraging the kiddos. And if little stickers make the kiddos happy, then we're gonna get little stickers. This has just like little like turtly awesome and perfect and strawberry good. <laughs> Just little things. I got a ton of them. I don't know how many are in here. These are what they look like. Ain't they cute? Sharpies. I got Sharpies that have two of each kind. The chiseled and all that. The fine point. I always need a Sharpie <laughs> to draw on my wall. Y'all know. A whole box of pencils. This is how many pencils? This is 150 pack of number two pre sharpened pencils. I need to add that to the bottom of the cabinet to keep a stock on pencils. These are something I'm super excited about. This is the Life Skills Activity Book, and there are several of these. So on the back, they've got literally the Artist Fun Schooling Journal, the Athletes Fun Schooling Journal, the Baker's Fun Schooling Journal. It goes over, like, look, Heroes and Villains of History, Pastimes. I'm going to buy every single one of these. Every time they get done with one of these, we're moving on to another one. Because check this out, okay. The, let's see, so this, table of contents, basic first aid, laundry, sewing, conversations on the phone, uh, meal planning, shopping list, public speaking, being a good friend, online safety, food storage, meet new people, how to meet new people, use a dictionary and thesaurus, how to apologize. It goes over not only life skills, like, as far as, like, budget and stuff like that, but it goes over to, like, the emotional category, and it talks about how to properly apologize, how to be empathetic towards people, how to give a foot massage, <laughs> how to wrap a gift, crochet a hat, so many things that I don't even know myself. I mean, this is going to be a game changer for me. I'm going to learn so much. You can learn to sew on buttons. And it's got little activities. It's got the knowledge part where it teaches you something, but then it has little activities to go with it. Write your meal plan below. It teaches you how to meal plan. If I had had this, are you kidding me? If I had had this when I was a kid, I'd be so much further in my homemaking and just mom life and family life than I am now. Uh, I want to get me all of these. Nate, I'm going to order me one of these to do along with the kiddos. And then I'm going to get me every single one that I get them because this is something that even I can benefit from. Um, how to host a garage sale. It thinks of everything. How to find a book in the library. It goes over the alphabetical nonfiction, biography, decimal system, all of that kind of stuff that you would find at a library. Measuring math. Are you kidding? Like, this is probably the coolest thing that I got. How to calculate your car's gas mileage. I'm done. I'm done. Let me tell you something. Who does this? The thinking tree. The thinking tree. Right now, I don't think I've ever just stopped a pro the program and been like, go get you one of these. But go get you one of these. Go get you one of these. Maybe I did for the Quest Chili Chips. 
but go get you one of these because this thing right here has skills upon skills upon skills that are necessary and are beneficial to you and your kids. Never have I ever stopped my program right here, as my friends call it. I have friends say, Marina, I love your show. Never have I ever stopped my show right here to tell you to go pick up something. I'll have it linked down below. I don't get a cent from this company. I don't want a cent from this company. If anything, I want to give this company cents because they give me cents. <laughs> Get that they, they give us sense, so I'm gonna give them my sense. So for theirs is mental, and my sense I'll give them is like money. <laughs> and the last thing I got from Amazon is this magnetic money thing. So a lot of my kids already know the whole money thing, but you know a lot of the kiddos math that has to do with multiplication when it comes to the dollar and the decimal system and all that stuff. So I thought this would come in handy if anything they can play. I mean with it, I love some educational playtime, and that's exactly what this can be. They can turn it into that. You write what you're buying. So I'm buying ice cream. I need to pay $3.35. Whoever's paying $3.35 for ice cream, go to the Dollar Tree. Um, exact change, so you would do like the exact amount, or or if you don't have it, you would pay this and then you would get your change. So it's teaching you in a fun way addition and subtraction when it comes to money. Okay, so things I would recommend 1 billion percent. This, 1 billion percent. The magnetic money kit, I would recommend that. Even though I haven't played it, it's the premise is cool. I think it's awesome. Um, pencils, everybody needs a pencil. As far as price, I don't know if that's a deal or not, so I won't recommend those, but they are pre sharpened and they are handy. Sharpies, honestly, you can get pen and gear sharpies for cheaper. Don't go getting this. I just needed one and it was on my brain at that time and I just added it to the cart. I could have waited and went and got pen and gear. Stickers, I mean, they're stickers. You can get stickers at the Dollar Tree. This thing, I absolutely would recommend. I'm gonna get more of these. So I would absolutely recommend that. This, I would recommend. I haven't got to play it with the kiddos, but I like the premise of it. And then these punch cards for the AR system if you're a homeschooling mama. Try it out with me. I'm trying it out. I ain't ever tried it like this before. But it might encourage your kiddo to read a little. If they don't like to read, it might encourage them to read. Mine already like to read, so mine are just getting basically rewarded for their love of reading. But if you have a kiddo who struggles with reading, they don't like it, I would try something like that out maybe. I don't know. It's just a, it's just a look into my brain. I don't ever try to get on here and teach y'all anything mom related or wife related or home related or anything like that. You just get a look inside my brain and kind of see what I'm thinking about the thing. Ollie's now. I got this for one of my kiddos. My other ones have already been down this road, but I got this for one of my kiddos because they have been loving workbooks. So I'm going to throw all the workbooks at them. If they like the workbooks, then that's golden because that, that helps them a lot. I also got this little thinkers and it's um, it says ages three to five, but y'all know. I didn't know school zone had an online curriculum. That's cool. Um, but this just has like little, you know, little activities and stuff. And then I got this one as well. These are in color. So that captures attention right away. And they got little stickers in there. I got this for $5.99 and this for $4.99. I got this Bible dot to dot ABCs and I got this at Ollie's for 99 cents. Like I said, fun little activity books. And then I got this pack here at Ollie's. And it's a Highlights Favorite puzzle collection and it has several of these books. And they're just like little workbooks. And that is my homeschool haul. Let me get y'all out of the light because I can't even see myself right now. Y'all have probably just been looking at a glare this whole time. What you got, Cammie? Worms. Where's? What's his name? Mommy. Mommy? Mommy. <gasps> it's beautiful. It's a big old worm. Are we sure that's a worm? Looks like an alien. <laughs> it's a big old worm. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. That kid is not afraid of anything. Is it pretty? Is it pretty? Yes or no? Yes. It is? Is it gross? Yes or no? Yes, it's also gross. It's pretty and gross. Okay. Cammy has a pet. <laughs> Shane is real quick going to do just a tiny little quick grocery pickup haul uh, from the Walmart. And then we're going to work on dinner. Because it's already getting <laughs> super late, we need to get dinner going. What's up? Welcome to a shorter version of the grocery haul, which I am positive will still brighten your day, brighten your week, and brighten your month. Uh, we're going to go over the short stuff. Real quick, I just wanted to give a shout out to one of our friends that we saw over in Walmart. We met her, her mama, and her daughter, and uh, they were super nice, and it was nice to meet y'all. 
Anyway, let's get on with it. Come on! Rainy got her some Sprite Zero Sugar cans right here. We got two bags of bread. We were running low. We are sandwich eaters in this house. We got a pack of chicken here along with a gallon of milk. You can't see this. You can't see both of them. The bag, I'm actually showing you guys the bag of ice this time because usually um, I say that we get a bag of ice and I've already put it in the freezer because I do that. Uh, Rena got her three boxes of these Sonic Ocean Water Zero Sugar Drink Mixes. We got us some Blue Bonnet Butter. We got a can of cream of mushroom along with a box of onion recipe soup and dip mix. A box of ramen. We got us a thing of this Sam's Cola here. And then finally, I know this was so short and I know you guys are so sad to see me go, but we're gonna end this off with a hashtag Tater Nation. I'm gonna turn this back over to my lovely wife. I'll see y'all later. Goodbye! Okay, this and some water is what I'm going to need for tonight's dinner. So I got me some of this to spray down the pan so the rice don't stick. I got me some chicken breasts for chicken breasts here. Got me some Campbell's cream of mushroom just because great value was out of stock. Some onion soup mix and some white long grain rice. Sometimes I do extravagant meals during the week, during our homeschool week, but most of the time it's something fast, and this is super fast. What I'm doing is I'm just putting two cups of rice into a glass dish after I spray it down, a thing of cream of mushroom soup, gross, <laughs> a half of a packet of this onion soup mix. I put the other half on it once I get the chicken in there. Two cups of water, sometimes two and a half, depending on how far it fills it up. This did just fine. I mix that up. You can mix it separately in a bowl if you want to, but I don't like dirty dishes. <laughs> then I put my chicken in there. Dr. Oz says don't wash your chicken. I know somebody is yelling through the TV at me right now. <laughs> I put the rest of the onion soup mixture on top and then use some salt. I cover it with tin foil and cook it on 350 for an hour and a half. Quite a long time, but it's worth it because it is super good and it's super filling and it stretches a whole lot. Like you can stretch it a long way. I'm gonna put y'all right here. That's a flattering angle. Let's make a faux ocean water, sonic, faux sonic ocean water while I talk to you about my weight loss stuff. I actually weighed in on Saturday. Saturdays are my weigh in days. And I'll put it up here on the screen. I lost some more weight. Not a whole, whole lot, but some more weight. I was doing keto for, well, lazy keto for those two weeks. <laughs> Got me some ice. And keto, I mean, it shows you results fairly quickly. I'm putting in a Sprite Zero in here. It shows you results fairly quickly. So I was pretty happy with that. Still not happy with only losing that amount of weight, but happy it was a weight loss nonetheless. Even good Cheeto, even good Cheeto, even good, I've got Cheetos on the brain. Lord help me, Jesus, this weight loss thing. <laughs> even, uh, even though I was doing, you know, even keto good things like eggs, bacon, fats, stuff like that. I mean, I was choosing keto good things. Fats, bacon, a lot of fats, bacon, eggs, things like that. I'm using one of these things that y'all saw in the grocery haul. And I will tell you, I've never been so sick. I have been that sick. I've had like a ruptured gallbladder. I've been that sick. But I, I haven't been that sick in a while. And so I started looking up why I was so sick. Come to find out, if you had a gallbladder removal, Keto isn't the best option. It's doable, but there's a small percentage that you will be sicker than a dog and that it won't be doable for you. And I'm finding in my old age, I'm hitting a lot of small percentages these days. <laughs> I'm in a lot of small percentages. That is really blue. Oh no. Look, that's really blue. The fizz is even blowing up. I've never tried this, by the way. This is just in my brain. I know Sonic told me one time it was Sprite and blue coconut flavoring, so this is just what's in my brain. This is what I think will work for a faux blue coconut ocean water, basically, uh, drink. But, um, looks like it's dying on the edges. I was sicker than a dog, so I was TMI, for those of you who don't like me to say the word dookie, I'm sorry, it's just a part of my vocabulary. I don't think I'll ever be able to change that, but I try to say it less sometimes for you. So TMI, mute it now. Okay, I was dookie in a storm, and I could not, I could not, I could not. So that's why I lost all the weight. It was dookie. I mean, it was the I'm talking to the 100,000. My camera died. 
You see how blue that is? I put way too much of this in there. Next time, it only needs half a pack, if that. It is amazing, though. Like, it tastes just like Sonic Ocean Water. The only thing is, when you put that whole pack in a little thing like this, it tastes like Big Red. <laughs> it tastes identical to Big Red chewing gum. Back to what I was saying. So, I was doing the keto thing, and like I said, I got super sick. I got so sick, and then I found out that people who don't have a gallbladder, and who had gallbladder issues, gallstone issues, bile in the liver, things like that, some of them are affected very poorly by the keto diet. Well, I've done keto before, but not for long stretches, and I never really had an issue, but I tested it, and when I ate the stuff, like the grass-fed butter, a lot of fats and stuff like that, I was so sick, I was so sick. And when I stopped, the sickness went away. So, um, throughout eating keto, I still logged my food on Weight Watchers because no matter what, you have to be in a calorie deficit in order to lose anything. No matter if you're doing low carb, whatever you're doing, you have to be in a calorie deficit. I know that much. And Weight Watchers counts up calories as points, so it simplifies it in a way that somebody like me, who doesn't have a whole lot of knowledge about calories and macros and stuff, it simplifies it into points that you're allotted throughout the week. So I was already logging all of my keto meals and stuff because I wanted to make sure I was in that deficit and I wasn't overeating because just because I was getting no carbs doesn't mean I wasn't getting no calories because most low carb items are very high in calories. A lot of more. So the thing I'm, I'm, I'm having issues with now is I don't know if keto is going to be able to be do, done long term. And that sucks because I want to do it so bad. And it's frustrating to give it your all only for your body to kick back at you. So, I'm going to try to do, you know, not so many fats. I can't really do keto if I'm not doing high fats because that's all what keto is. But I can still do low carb. So I'm going to try to do low carb, low calorie, still log it into my Weight Watchers app and go from there. Still not having sugary drinks, um, not having any sweets unless it's artificial like stevia, something like that. Um, not eating breads, not eating a lot of breads anyway. Um, with me not doing keto and doing low carb, I can introduce a few, you know, grains in. Versus with keto, there's virtually like no grains that you can eat that's gonna fall into your macros the right way. But we're still on it. We'll still be doing a weigh in next week, and it's it's all about pivoting. I gotta pivot to what my body is saying. The only thing is, I don't know what it's saying. <laughs> So I don't know what we're gonna, I just, I don't wanna get surgery if I don't have to get surgery. I know surgery helps a lot of people and surgery is good for a lot of people, but surgery is also very expensive and it's helped a ton of people, thousands, thousands and hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people maybe, I don't know. But it's expensive and I don't have time for recovery time. <laughs> like, I um, I don't. There's, there's just no time. I just don't have time for recovery times. And to be honest with you, I'm scared of surgery. <laughs> I don't want to do it. So we're gonna be doing our way in next week, just like we are every week, and we're just gonna keep doing it, no matter what. Not giving up, even if our body's saying no. We pivot to something else. We don't stop and and regress. We just keep doing it. That's why I need y'all's prayers. That's why I'm so glad y'all put me on your prayer list at your churches. I'm telling y'all, I can feel those prayers. I told you guys in one of the last videos that I felt really led to go the more keto route, and I still feel that way, so I've got to kind of modify it to fit my body. I know that the Lord will lead me, and I will figure it out. <laughs> I'm doing my read aloud. We find some time to do this during the day. Sometimes it ends up being in the evening like it is right now. Sometimes it's during the school day. Sometimes in the morning before we start school, but we try to find time to read a read aloud. We read Nancy Drew, Colton's read this, I don't know how many times. I have, no, I have no idea. I couldn't tell you how many times. We love Nancy Drew. We love Hardy Boys too, but we prefer Nancy Drew. She's awesome. <laughs> so I'm reading the read aloud. And then after that, that's whenever I'm going to go through and do my evening chores to try to keep up on the house because my house can get out of control fairly quickly. So once I get done with this, I'm now putting up the homeschool and stuff, making sure everything's checked off, and then going in and doing a pickup, a cleanup, quick tidy up, and dishes. You're smiling, just really doing nothing That's the thing I like about you mm. On the highway, it's our way, Route 
66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do, yeah No, nothing's complicated important to say that every day does not always look like this every day does not look like this some days i'm trudging through it trying wishing that it looks like this so don't ever watch these videos and think oh marina has it together because we all know we know you if you've been here a while you know i ain't got it together <laughs> i might pretend to have it together sometimes <laughs> but even then i ain't got it all together so every day i just try my best and that's all we can do as homeschooling parents as parents in general as grandparents as aunts and uncles all we can do is try our best and give it our all and that's exactly what i try every day i'm gonna go grade papers and then everybody's gonna go to sleep thank y'all for hanging out with me i hope y'all have a blessed morning or not whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus loves you so much more i will see y'all in the next one